When we go down to the beach, we all notice how the shore changes over the day with the tides. On the low tide, we enjoy exposed sandy beaches and exploring the hidden rock pools. Whereas the high tide offers us deeper waters for paddles and swims. But what about the more permanent residents? How do these daily changes affect them? Have you ever thought about what happens at the beach when you're not there? The water rolls away on the ebbing tide, leaving the shore exposed. Perfect timing for hungry wading birds. The smaller invertebrates on the shore burrow down to avoid being caught by a long bill. Others take refuge from the sun in rock pools, including limpets, shrimp and crabs. Have you ever noticed just how colourful our rock pools can be? It's amazing how much life can flourish in such a small space. In this miniature ecosystem, we can find tiny predatory sea slugs, large grazing sea urchins, and delicate plankton-eating feather stars. Some species we might not always think of as marine take a chance to make the most of the shore. Some of the locals enjoy low tide as a chance to rest and digest in the sun. The day wears on. The tide has turned and the wading birds must move on. The seals head back to their fishing and the beach invertebrates can have shelter once again. Everyone loves a day at the beach, watching the shore change with the tides. Unfortunately, our seas are now facing unprecedented changes and it's a challenge we need to address. We love our wild places, but they need our help. This National Marine Week, could you help us to protect our seas?